Welcome teachers. One of the most important questions that a teacher can ask themselves when entering into online teaching is how can I take the assignments that I already love in my face-to-face -face class and turn them into online friendly assignments? Well, Canvas assignments will help you make that transition quickly and easily and grab all these content-rich features that help you make a great assignment in a face-to-face -face class be a great online assignment as well. Come join me as we check out Canvas assignments. All right, teachers, let's go ahead and jump in. To get to assignments, click on the Assignments button on your Canvas class. Now, make sure that you check your settings to make sure that students can see it. To start a new assignment, click Plus Assignment in the top right-hand corner. Now, all of your assignments should be listed, and you can also create groups for your assignments. Now, those groups allow you to organize your assignments into different uh, organizational patterns that you set up. Um, to do that, click plus group, as you just saw, and type in the name that you would like to have it. I put in essay because that's a, what something I do quite a bit with my students. Now, to create the new assignment, click plus assignment, and first thing you're going to see is the rich content editor. Go ahead and give it a title. I'm giving it sample assignment to get us started today. Now, underneath that, folks, we have our rich content editor. You can do so much with this, add pictures, video, you can add YouTube videos, um, add documents, PDFs, links, all sorts of stuff for your students. So feel free to not just rely on text, but make this a multimodal assignment for your students so they can see and hear you as you go through it. Right now, I'm just going to copy some basic text, though, and just to get us started. Once I'm done, I'm going to start going through. Um, I'm going to add my point value. I'm just going to add a couple 10 points here. I'm going to add my group in here that I just established a minute ago and change it to essay. And then I can change up all the different things as far as points, or I can do academic grade, letter grades. Um, there's a lot of different options for you to establish your grades as you'd like to in Canvas. However, the most important thing that you can do is set your submission type. There are four different types. The first one is no submission. Then we have online, on paper, or external tool. Although not important for online classes, no submission or on paper can really be valuable for your students. Um, for instance, if you have a face-to-face -face class or a hybrid class where students are able to turn in material, you may want to have a no submission or an on paper submission for your students. The two that we're going to focus on though are online submission and the external tool. Online submission has four different types, the first being text entry. This gives your students a text entry box that they can type, um, add material to, and basically make it really straightforward for them to submit um, a text-oriented document. The second one is website URL, an external link, or they can go out and grab a website that you're, they're working on and drop it there for you. Media recordings is really important because it allows students to record or edit audio or video. And just so you know, media recordings do not count towards your status quota in Canvas. The last one is file uploads. File uploads is just what it sounds like, allowing students to upload a doc, a PDF, a PNG file, whatever it might be. As a teacher, you can restrict those upload file types by typing dot and then the file extension, so like dot PDF. And if you want multiples, just add a comma and type in the next one, so like dot doc or dot docx or dot PNG, whatever you'd like. That will restrict the file types for your students. The last tool is to do an external tool. Uh, external tools call on an external website like Google, or Nearpod, or Microsoft to allow you to pull in pre-existing material for your students. Click Find, and then go ahead and find the tool that you want to work with. It might be Google Assignments, or Nearpod, Microsoft Office, whatever you're working with. You'll click on the product, and then it'll open up an external window and allow you to select the file that you want to pull into Canvas and then it'll generate the assignment for you in Canvas. It's a great tool to use pre-existing materials that we all use in our classes um, that you don't want to just discard as a teacher. Now, when you're done, go ahead and make sure that you're going to fill in a few more settings. So the first thing that we want to make sure that we fill in is that we make sure that we have our due date. And we can also check out group assignments or peer reviews if we'd like as well. Once you're done, make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom and click Save and Publish to save the assignment. Now, once we're done filling out an assignment, we want to make sure that we checked all of our settings correctly. So on this page, we can see our assignment, we can see what kind of submission that they're going to add, and if we've selected some specific file types. To check it from the student view, go ahead and click Home, and then find the Student View button on your home page on the right-hand side. Now, once you've got your Student View page, you can go ahead and click on the Assignments page. 
We can click on the assignment we've made called Sample Assignment, and we can see the assignment from a student perspective. We're going to try submitting it right now. So we can see down below we have a file upload, we can choose our file, and we can add another file. Depending on your district, you might have Google Drive activated or Microsoft activated for your students. Canvas assignments are a great tool for teachers to engage their students in the learning process. So consider using them and make sure that you explore all the options that are within Canvas assignments. Thanks so much for your time.